here's the situation. This is the worst wheel bearing I have ever encountered in my life. I'm just a DIY guy. I've only done my own. And this thing is not coming off. I tried the bolt trick where you use a bolt and the whole hub assembly literally ripped itself in two. And here's the base or the outer race. This is supposed to come off from here for those who don't know. And this thing is so welded and bonded on there. I don't even know what to do. Like you could see the bearings inside where I ripped it apart. And I have my jackhammer, my SDS. And I'm trying to hit it with that. And that's not even working. I tried to, I've, I've beat this thing so hard with a sledgehammer that I've caved it. I'm going to keep jackhammering on it and hopefully maybe it'll come out. This is absolutely insane. For those who don't know, this is a Goodwill bear bearing here. This is the replacement that's going in. And what Subaru did on these newer models is they've extended the inside of this hub. So where it goes in is even longer. And I've never quite come up against one this awful. But this is what it's supposed to look like. And mine basically has separated in two, which usually never happens. Unless you get it on a press, heat it, and, you know, press the inside out. Uh, Jackhammering didn't work. And basically, I took a break and went on the old interweb until I could see other people's ideas. Now... Nine out of ten ideas were to use the bolt trick would just just rip this thing in half. And uh, then I saw Eric from South Main Auto. He had a video and where he welded a nut to a Subaru rear wheel bearing here. And that's the only way he said he could get them out. I guess these are notorious. Uh, the later model Subaru ones. And... Um, People just have a hell of a time with them. And there's a special tool you can buy for $900. But who's going to do that? So I'm going to try cleaning this up. Maybe I'll heat it up. And I'm going to try welding. You know shit's getting desperate when you kick out the welder. I found some big 5.8s. Uh, I found a big 5.8s bolt and uh, some nuts. This came off my front loader. It's either 5 eighths or 9 sixteenths, but should work, should do the trick. Here's what we got. I should have welded two nuts on there. I might still, but I've got a weld all the way around. And on this side too, hopefully that's enough. I want to let both of these just cool slowly, so I'm going to walk away and leave them alone. All right, we're going to try it. It's been cooling for like 15 minutes. Now, looks like my weld is just bending and breaking. Yeah, let me weld another nut on there. All right, I put another nut right in line with this one. I'm going to weld it to this nut I already welded on here. And then I'm going to weld that onto the hub structure too. This job has turned into like two days now. Second nut is welded on. We'll see how it goes. I've got this lower grade bolt here just from the hardware store. I don't really trust these, but I'm going to have to. 
All right, here we go. Round two, it's still hot. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Wilds are breaking in the front. <laughs> Just broke this bolt. It almost looks like it's... I don't know. I can't tell. Is that false hope? I, I've got constant pressure against it now. No. I don't know what that is. Let me get my jackhammer again. Just go go to town with it on um, it like that. It's almost looking like there's like, I'm starting to get a crack all the way around, around, around the outside, but I, I don't know. You've got to be kidding me with this Subaru. I think it might come. Maybe I'm delusional, but I'm feeling like I'm starting to see a definition crack along. Yeah, you can't really see it. See that? It's there's almost hope here. God, it's coming. Is it? I can't fucking tell. Yeah, we're moving it. We're moving it. This thing is kicking my ass, man. All right, I'm going to try to get a chisel. In between here now maybe the extreme heat from welding and the pressure from that big snap nut yeah it's coming oh my god Eight straight hours here of beating heating and I, I turned on the camera about halfway through that is crazy just never never ever ever have I had a wheel bearing act like this I mean every part of it just separated 
but that is absolutely insane. I am going to put anti-seize on the new one. I'm gonna clean all this out and then anti-seize where it goes into the, the collar and the mating surfaces. I just, this has got to be the original from 200,000 miles ago. I think I'm gonna make a tool from this for this in the future because this is something I never wanna go through again.